Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. If this is your first time, welcome to the family. We are the podcast that turns your ideas into an amazing adventure every single day. You know, we couldn't even exist without imaginations from kids just like you. So if you have an idea for a story, I'd love to see it. Check down in the show notes below for how you can submit your own story idea and maybe we'll turn it into an awesome adventure. And parents, if you're new to kids podcasting, I want to challenge you to listen to podcasting for five days in a row with your kids. It's going to increase their imagination, decrease screen time, and we're going to have a lot of fun along the way. Are you guys ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. Vivi was a venomous snake who was always causing trouble. She was always grumpy and loved to cause chaos. Her favorite activity was scaring anyone who crossed her path. One day, Vivi slithered her way into a storm drain on her way to the city. She planned to scare some restaurant goers and get a free meal. She traveled through the sewers until she heard loud noises coming from above. She climbed her way out of a different drain and into the middle of the big city. She began to slither down the sidewalk when someone stepped on the tip of her tail. Hey, Viv hissed. Then she popped out her fangs, reared back her head, and launched herself at the person's ankles. Fortunately for the human, they heard Vivi hiss and jumped away just in time. Snake! There's there's a snake! The man yelled as he ran far away. Vivi harumphed. Do you know how to make that sound? It's a funny word to say, harumphed, but it's just... (laughs) What kind of sound would you make if you were angry and wanting to turn your head away? She was disappointed that she didn't get to bite him. Wow, she is a really angry, mean snake. She slithered off into the bushes to avoid more accidental stomping. While in the bushes, she spotted a cat sleeping ahead. She hissed at the cat, hoping it would move, but the cat only lazily opened an eye to look at her. Go away, snake. The cat yawned. Vivi hissed again and revealed her shiny, venomous fangs. She sprang forward, but the cat leaped out of the way just in time. Vivi bit a branch of the bush instead. (sighs) She hissed in anger and wiggled away. Vivi smelled food outside of the bushes and entered the patio of the restaurant. Do you know how snakes smell? They don't smell like us. You know, we go to smell something. Yeah, snakes stick out their tongue. They have a special organ called the Jacobson organ inside their mouth that helps them smell and taste the air. A woman pushed the door open and Vivi saw her chance. She wiggled into the open gap, her head making it into the building. Then her middle... Oh, but she wasn't quick enough to get her tail through. The door closed on Vivi's tail and she hissed in surprise. She hissed so loudly that everyone in the restaurant heard it and fell silent. They looked at Vivi's long, scaly self, and they all screamed. Ah! A snake! There's a snake in the restaurant? Ah, Somebody get it out of here! Vivi tried to ignore them and pulled her tail out of the door. She slithered her way toward the kitchen, people jumping up on their chairs as she passed. She had almost made it when the chef stepped into the doorway, blocking her path. Sorry, Snake, you're you're not getting into the kitchen today, he told her. We'll see about that. Vivi hissed in response. Her fangs sprang forward toward the chef's leg, but the chef was ready for her. He pulled out a broom from beside him and blocked her venomous fangs. 
they bounced off the broomstick and the chef began sweeping her away from the kitchen. People all around her watched and now Vivi was furiously mad. She hissed and swung her fangs at anyone near her all the way out the door. The door slammed shut behind her. Vivi saw the cat from earlier watching her from the bushes and she decided to try to bite him again. Maybe that would make her feel better. She slithered quickly toward him, but this time the cat didn't jump away. Instead, he held out a flower. <laughs> a flower? Are you trying to stop me with a flower? I don't like flowers. She reared back to bite him again, but as she did, the cat blew on the flower. Pollen flew off of it into Vivi's mouth, and she hacked and gagged. <coughs> Ew! Ugh! Gross! She sputtered. Then she felt herself go pin straight. She couldn't wiggle or slither. Vivi began to float! She floated. Wait, what? She floated higher above the ground without being able to control it. She felt like her whole body had been inflated, <laughs> like a balloon. Just when she thought she was going to float away on the wind, the cat grabbed hold of her tail and tied a string to it. Gotcha! He tied the string to the leg of a chair and left the flower next to her. Bye, Sneak. Maybe you'll think twice about biting next time. Then the cat slinked off back into the bushes. Vivi watched as people walked by her chair unsuspectingly. No one seemed to realize she was there. She watched for a moment before she heard a meow. And the cat was back. And behind him were two members of animal control. The chef met them on the patio. Uh, we received a call for a venomous snake. They asked the chef. He nodded. I chased it outside with the broom. I'm not sure where it went now. They thanked him and the chef went back inside as they began looking. The cat jumped up on the chair, meowing loudly. He was pawing at the string tied to Vivi, making her bounce around in the air just like a balloon. Ah, uh, what do you have here, kitty? A balloon? Strange. The colors look just like that venomous snake they called in, said one of the animal control officers. Then the cat picked up the flower and blew on it again. The pollen tickled Vivi, and she felt herself falling. The snake! cried the other officer. He dove and placed a cage under her, and Vivi clunked right in. She hissed and writhed in anger until she smelled something delicious inside. Vivi happily ate the food in the cage as the animal control officers took her back to the wilderness. They opened the cage, and she slithered out, hissing at them to keep up appearances. Full and exhausted from her long day, Vivi curled up on a warm rock to rest. S plenty of people to scare. Free food and a ride back home. I got everything I wanted, but somehow I'm still not happy. Wow, what do you think Vivi should do if she's wanting to be happy? Do you think she should be nicer and kinder to people? Yeah, I don't think she's ever going to feel happiness being that angry and mean to everyone around. Even though this is the end of the story, I really hope Vivi the Venomous Snake learns her lesson and is kinder to everyone. Great job, you listened all the way to the end and you know what time it is, it's time for Kid Shoutouts. I want to say hey to Thomas from California, Naomi from North Carolina, Wyatt from Ohio, Brayden from Ontario, Canada, David from Virginia, and George 
from Oklahoma. I'm so glad that you're all on the Kid Short Stories family. We could not have this much fun with imagination without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day, and I'll see you on our next adventure. Bye!